Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I'm Brad, here with Doug. Hey. We both recently went through the glorious Super <laughs> Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Yep. Uh, we both have played through Bowser's Fury. I made it all the way back through Super Mario 3D World for, I think, the third time. I think it's the third time I played through it. Um, I don't remember. You're not quite through 3D World, right? Yeah, so I 100% of Bowser's Fury. I did and not. Then, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I got to the final world of 3D World, and most of my experience of 3D, 3D World is like, I wish I liked you, and but it's just Which not going to work out opinion. between us. <laughs> Which is the wrong opinion, so that's okay. Um, I wouldn't mind talking about 3D World, though, for a bit if we do get around to that. <laughs> well, let's start with Bowser's Fury. We can, we'll, we'll circle sure. back to 3D World and the more point out how it's Bowser's one of the, Fury for sure. Yes, <laughs> and point out how it's one of my favorite Mario games. But anyway, so Bowser's Fury. Um, this is one of those things where I, I bought it day one. I pre-ordered it months ago. Had mm. no idea what to expect coming into it, which I think is always fun, especially in a Mario game, because sure. it you only had maybe that those little bits of information. You saw a little bit of gameplay. So it was kind of hard to tell exactly like, is this a big open world? How mm-hmm. does Bowser work in this? What exactly is going on? And I think just going through this and the way that it worked is what I want from more Mario games. Yeah, it did the thing. Like it did the thing. Like the thing was, I want to, everybody says, I want an open world Mario. I don't yeah. know what that means, but I just want it. I saw Grand Theft Auto and I want an open world Mario. Yeah. Um, and then they did that, and it's um, amazing. It is mechanically amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Asterisk>. okay, <laughs> okay. So I guess to start with, yeah, are your mechanic issues or not mechanic? Are your issues in like story, like giant Bowser, like world design? Like where well, I, where do your issues lie? Because I think, this I in think my we mind... should probably explain what Bowser's Fury is. I think I think like as. I know we, we we do a bad job of like doing when we do reviews. We just kind of like talk about how we like the game and not too much mechanically. But I think this one, like, you actually have to describe what the hell is going on. So like, fair point. So what Bowser's Fury is? It's an open world Mario game, and how they segment off the the open world is that um, you essentially go to like let's say an island, and that island. I don't want to see if it has a theme. It has like a bunch of like little puzzles, I guess, like jumping they're, puzzles. They're kind of themed, but not like because there's like the first couple are very like Mario Sunshine tropically, yeah. And then the second set has a little bit more to do with like ice in it, and then the third sure. set is the the fiery lava-y ones. So, I, yeah, they're not exclusive to that theme. Like yes. they don't hold completely true to that, but you can definitely see. Okay, this is the one that's supposed to be kind of the ice world. Um, I think with the open world, it makes it more that they tend to blend together. Sure. So I don't think you necessarily get that. Okay, we're in world 3A, ice world. We're in ice world Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the thing that's kind of neat. And I think one of the things that kind of hinders it um, is because they they do kind of like all meld together, which is kind of neat because it is this sort of open world Mario thing. But it's like because they kind of meld together, it's like a little bit hard to differentiate like high points from it. Um, But anyway, so you have these sort of like, they're not sectioned off, but you can like swim to an island or walk to an island. And they have like... You collect five or six stars on each one, and those are sometimes puzzles. Sometimes they're like, I guess just traditionally how you collect it's, a star it's, in a it's, 3D it's, Mario world. I say it's 3D Mario. It's you get yeah. your red coins, you get your blue yeah. coins, you climb to the top, you do you do your little chase segment, you maybe beat a boss. Yep. And then every once in a while, they'll have this weird mechanic that is fun twice. <laughs> and then, um, but what it is, it's the Bowser's Fury. So basically, what happens is there's a random timer that's going down. Um, and you kind of get a handle of how long it takes for Bowser to reactivate. Yeah. It's maybe five minutes, maybe five or ten minutes. Um, but basically what happens when Bowser gets activated, you have a few options. And then all of a sudden, like, new platforms come raining down, which is kind of fun. Bowser shoots this, like, mega laser, which is, like, really yep. cool. That's, like, kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, because you will get hit if you're not, like, taking cover. Um, but it is kind of fun because it kind of changes the dynamic. It's like, oh, I'm just doing this, like, one thing. And then, holy crap, here comes giant mega Bowser shooting Godzilla lasers at you. And yeah. I need to, um, I need to, usually the way to, to do it is that you pick up a star and a star will like scare him away or yep. you can do this weird, um, I can, it sounds cool when I say it, but it's not as cool as it is when I felt like I was playing it where you basically, you turn into a giant Goku, um, <laughs> <laughs> you turn into a giant Goku cat yeah. and then you, um, do weird melee combat with, well, you just hit him. You like punch Bowser, and then there's like some like jumping and stuff. But then and you, you can throw things at him, and that's true. I didn't I didn't realize you could do that until like the end. 
I, I think I was my 100% run when I realized you could do that. <laughs> I, I was around like 40 cat shrines when I was like, I can pick this up. This makes this yeah. so, it, it, it's so much different if you realize that you can do that, that it almost feels game breaking because you've yeah. like tried so far to like, all right, yeah. I got dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. Okay. Now he's down, jump on him. And it's like, I just throw this at him. Oh. Yeah, ex exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. No, no. And that's, and that's why I was like, I was like, man, these Bowser fights are hard. I was like, oh, cause I'm missing a major mechanic of it. Yeah. Yep. Um, but that's basically it. So you go through the, you go through the open world, you do these like little islands, you get your stars and at the end you fight Bowser and Mario does Mario stuff. Um, yep. but it is very, very cool to be like, to go around a, um, an open world Mario. I think the biggest problem I had with this was mostly that it was Mario. And I know that sounds so stupid. I just like, feel because I think like mechanically, I think it's such an interesting idea of like going around, do these cool, like little platforming challenges thing, but it is, it's literally made from <clears throat> assets from 3d Mario world. Yeah. So there's no, um, it has a very much feeling of like, oh, I've been here and done this before, even though it's so mechanically interesting. And I understand maybe the only way they could do that was by not spending money on building new assets. But it felt kind of like, it, to me, it felt like this really crazy cool stuff for mechanically. But because it had the 3D world motif, it felt like a weird step back from Mario Odyssey as far as like interesting world. Does, does that make sense? And I know 100%. it's done. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want that to be a stupid complaint. No, I think I think I think what you're saying is correct. And I think it kind of goes into the way that if you look at like Mario games, you've got like your new Super Mario Bros, your three D yeah. Mar Mario three D world, you've got your very traditional looking Mario games, and then you yeah. have the ones that kind of stand out from the pack, which are like sixty four Sunshine Galaxy Odyssey. Yeah. Where they're very clearly going like we are going to build a very cool world and you're going yeah. to go explore this very cool world. This feels like it's kind of in the middle of those where, okay, we've mm -hmm. got your classic Mario where you're just doing your normal Mario things, yeah. running through your levels and that, but we're going to do it in an almost interesting world. Yeah. So I think this kind of like only sort of interesting Mario kind of world makes the mechan makes it feels like, it feels like, um, the mechanics are just so much more interesting than that world. And that's why True. I kept going back. It's like, boy, I would love if this was a Ratchet and Clank game. Boy, I would really love <laughs> if this was insert any sort of platformer from like whatever thing. Cause Can I just we, was, I just personally was not interested in like the Mario universe. And I think 3d world is also kind of like not one of the more interesting ones, but Can like to me, if this is like out? the, Oh my God, we need a quick timeout. Uh, personal history lesson here. Doug doesn't know Nintendo. I, <laughs> I know Nintendo. Doug did not grow up with Mario like the rest of us did. Thus, yeah. his reference to all of these admittedly great PlayStation platformers. Mario is a game that is fantastic mechanically. I think it's very yeah, hard sure. to find, to find sure. a Mario game that is bad sure, mechanically. Yes. Now, again, because Mario is what it is, we've seen the same world, right? We know Mushroom. We know this. There have yeah, been yeah. dozens and dozens of Mario games. So I think... I think the issue you're getting at is that you're looking at a game that's trying to strive to have a really cool, really mechanically sound open world and going, but why isn't there a gun that turns the enemies into chickens? No, it's more like, why am I doing this super interesting mechanically? Th I, I feel like it doesn't give the, it doesn't give it, oper it doesn't allow those mechanics to shine because everything else seems so familiar. Like to me, okay. So for example, like Odyssey, I think has a lot of cool com like mechanics. Like I think yeah. if they had done this as like, this was a precursor to Odyssey two sort of thing and set it in the Odyssey universe. So you have like these cool, weird world on top of these cool mechanics. And I'd be like, totally for it. I just felt like, um, there's too much familiarity that like it kind of prevented me from like really, really loving it was because I was like, mechanically, I find this interesting. I don't find this world interesting and it doesn't make it seem it, Cause I, to me, I think it is a huge, huge step forward that yeah, you is. don't see as much because it keeps harkening back to this old stuff. Um, and it, I, it felt like it felt like the Mario IP was holding back this Mario game, if that makes sense. It, it does, but I think that's a very different perspective to take on it. I look at Mario as something that just, you know what you're getting into. You always know what a Mario game is. Odyssey, and again, those, those, those couple I mentioned, Odyssey, yeah. Galaxy, Sunshine, are the three exceptions to that rule. Every other Mario game, sure. you know what you're getting when you go in. And, I mean, those three kind of stand head and shoulders above the rest. I think this yeah, one exactly. gets close yeah. to there because of what they do with the mechanics and because of what they do with the open world. But I think if you're going into Mario going like, oh, man, I can't wait to see this cool new world they've got. It's like, no, 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 dude. Like, ice, fire, island, beach, 
World 1-1 Castle. That's all you're getting. It's that's, Mario. Calm that's, down. <laughs> that's fair, but we just came off Odyssey. And we just came off. Also, I'll even throw Mario Kart 8 there. Like, there's been, like, and I understand this is, like, but this is, like, the 3D world. Like, we went back in time, like, 10 years of, like, yeah. cool Mario stuff. And that's and that's what it felt like. And, like, yeah. I understand. And that's why I kept going, like, why does this feel old? But clearly it's doing a lot of cool new stuff. And that's... Like, I, I, that's and, I, and I think that's the difference of looking at this as a full-on Super Mario Bowser's Fur- Fury, not a, eh, and Bowser's Fury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know sure. what I mean? Yeah, like exactly. that's, that's exactly. the other thing that's you have to look at. I think I think you're right with those like asset ideas and like trying to save some money here and like going yeah. like we're not going to go all in on all this because it is man, Bowser's Fury. Yeah, yeah, um, it was cool. I enjoyed it way more than I think 3D World though. Like I I I think it was I think I did the bad thing. I think I did the wrong way because I was like, ooh, 3D awesome open world platformer. Let's do that. I was like, this is great. And I was like, oh, 3D World is not bad. <laughs> so, no, it's not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think. And I think that's the thing. Like, I, I also played Bowser's Fury first, but I'd already played 3D World a couple times. Sure. Um, and again, I just think Bowser's Fury was so much fun. Yeah. And that's and, and and again, I think anybody could admit that. And I think that's the thing that you have to look at with Mario game is that you have to look at this is fun. And that yeah. is always what Mario has been to me is it's like I'm not going into Mario going like, oh, man, like what crazy scheme did Bowser cook up this time? It's sure. I'm going to have the best time. I'm going to have playing a game probably for a while playing this Mario game because it's going to be solid mechanically. It's going to let me do fun things. It's got the stupid ice skate, which I freaking love every time I do the stupid ice skate. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's fun. And I think that's what it comes down to with this is that I had a better time playing this game than I had playing almost any other game recently. Sure. And I think that kind of yeah. counts for something. Obviously, you don't want to go, well, just because you had fun means it's great. That's why yeah. like Marvel movies don't win Oscars. Yeah, they're sure. fun, and you know, it's it, to me, it's like that. It's like that dumb popcorn movie where you're just like, I'm just gonna have a good ass time. I don't care, whatever. Oh, <laughs> yep. Oh, Bowser Junior is my friend. I don't quite get that. Whatever. Yeah. It's fun. No, and like, the thing is, like the thing is, like I don't disagree with you. I think just like Odyssey hits different though. Like yes, like, it like, does. Our conversation, Very yeah, much. Our, <laughs> that's and like our conversation of Odyssey is not doesn't just stop in mechanics, but I yes. feel like the conversation here stops in mechanics and. Like, and that's why I'm like, that's like, oh, I really hope this is a new direction for Mario. I'll be pissed if this is 3D. If this is like, oh, let's do this again, but 3D World Mario aesthetic again. It's like, no, yeah. do, do Odyssey to this. Like, I'll and, be told, you know. Yeah. You know. And, and again, I mean, I did and 100% that's... it. So like, I did like it. Like, I'm not... See, and again, I want to throw this out. And, and I think we have the same conversation in Odyssey because I don't 100% Mario games. Yeah. <laughs> Mario sure. games yeah. are quick fun. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I've ever 100%ed a Mario game. I have played pretty much every Mario game since... I think I've played them all. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, the NES ones, I think I may have played sparingly, but I'm sure I hit them somewhere. I've never I've never 100%ed one. You have 100%ed mm-hmm. more Mario games in your time owning a Switch <laughs> than sure. I have in my history of Super Nintendo, N64, yeah. GameCube, everything. And I think that's the difference is, like, what are you looking to get out of it? And I got exactly what I wanted, and there's just yeah. so much cool stuff in there. Like, I get the Bowser thing. Like, it it doesn't play well probably if you 100% it where you got to keep going back to it. Yeah. But those first three or four times sure. oh, when yeah, you're like jumping yeah. over the island, you're like, oh man, I just spent forever climbing up this and now I'm just standing on top of it. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh no, it's sick. It's sick. I think I think the Bowser's Fury thing, like to me, that is the one, um, well, I didn't like, well, mechanically, I thought it was a little weird. I mean, just Bowser being this huge giant thing that's like actually kind of weirdly scary. Like yeah. it was, was fun. Like to me, that's the one fun idea they had. Like not outside of mechanics, like just interesting looking yeah. thing fun idea kind of thing for sure um and i really did i did like that and i really i like the open world i think the open world worked like a lot better than i thought it would i think the one thing i really did like about it is like i always felt like i was tripping over new stuff yeah like it never I, which i was i think a lot of open worlds do it and i think i think it was really nice because i like how condensed it is it's not yep. super spread out and even when it's even the points when it is spread out you're doing something interesting along the way like i thought the mechanics with the oh god it's such a dumb name it's like Nessie, but it's not. It's something dumb. Oh, the, 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 yeah, I can never remember that thing's name. Yeah, it's like Lessie or Lassie or something. something it's like very, that, yeah. It's very silly. But like, I, I thought, yeah, I just like that. I thought that was like so cool. It's like going to things and just doing that. And, yeah. and it, it's snappy. And I think that's what oh, yeah. a lot of open yeah. worlds lose is that it's, it's so much like, oh, look how big this is. And oh, you can drive forever and you can get there. And this is like, mm-hmm. like you said, you just stumble over. It's like, oh, it just popped up that I can get the star. All right, I'll get the cat shrine. I can get this right now. Like, real quick and then i can go over here and i can do this and i felt like i was just constantly stumbling over new stuff yeah. which is what i liked about this there was never any like i think 
Odyssey does it a little bit better than other ones, but having just replayed um, 64 and Sunshine, mm -hmm. there's always that hard reset point in a Mario game. Oh, sure. Where like, okay, I get booted out of the world, now I gotta jump back in. Booted out of the world. And this is just that constant, just snappy. Like, I'm rolling from one thing to the next to the next thing, and it feels so good, because it's just like, okay, I can play for 15 minutes, and I can just roll through like three or four things here really quick. Yeah. I'm a little nervous when you keep pushing for Odyssey 2 like this, where it's like, okay, if that's the case, like... I don't think I want Grand Theft Auto size Mario open world. No, oh, no I like no, no. my I, little I would, condensed. Yeah, do it three times. You got give the whole me place. four Bowser's Furies. Is yes, what I want. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think the thing that's also that's like really commendable about it too is that I think when you play an open world game, there's a certain amount of like heft to the character, just because most open worlds are kind of like feature realistic characters. Yep. But it's weird having that super tight control of like mm -hmm. a three D of a Mario three D platformer in an open world setting. It's just yeah. like, oh, I have that really, really tight control, and it just wasn't. You just, I never felt that before. I don't know it's yeah. it's it's super cool. It is really it's, cool. It is one of the more unique games I think I've ever played. Is one thing I think like sure. it, hate it, whatever you think about it. It is unquestionably one of the most unique games I've ever played. I don't think anybody would hate it. I mean, <laughs> okay, hate, who's, like, who hates it? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that take that. We could we could have taken we we should have taken that stance on the one people who are like Bowser's Fury, Fury's trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's garbage. Here's and ten here's reason why. why it's the worst Mario game ever. It I runs. Think we're doing YouTube great. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it runs not. It does feel like my switch is going to explode a few times. Though, a little I will bit. Say that. Most most things do that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it's such a unique game. I think. Mm -hmm. I think no matter what you can say, it's unique. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think you'll see another game that works quite like this one does. And mm -hmm. even if you do, I don't think you'll find one that's as fun and that's as tight and that's as well designed as this one is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's just, it's a unique spin on just open worlds in general. I think sure. it's just like, ah, every game, a lot of games should be doing this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we are Workforce Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Workforce Gaming, subscribe to us wherever you're listening, and we will see you later. Bye.